I'm Kristen. Thanks for joining me. This practice is built around reducing stress and anxiety. I have my cat Raja here today, so she'll probably pop in. If you have any pets or kids or loved ones to surround yourself with, I know that that helps reduce stress for me and they put a smile on my face even when they aren't doing anything. We will be flowing a little bit today. We will also do a few inversions where the head is below the heart. None of the inversions are of intermediate or advanced caliber, so anyone can do these inversions. They will be forward folds, mainly standing forward folds, and standing forward folds are a wonderful way to help reduce stress. It brings blood and oxygen to the head and basically just tells the nervous system to calm the F down. Even if you only have a moment, doing an inversion is a great way to calm the mind. I invite you to do this whenever you're feeling stressed out or anxious or your brain is going wild and this can help settle that uneasiness. Find yourself in a seated position, root down into the sit bones, lengthen up to the spine and the crown of the head, push the shoulders away from the ears. Draw the belly in. Smile. Cheese it out. There's only yourself to entertain. If you're seated and this is uncomfortable, you can have your legs straight out in front of you or out wide. You can even sit on something for support. I'm sitting on a towel to help lengthen my spine. This helps the pelvis tilt forward to provide space in the lower back and the spine so that there's no rounding through the spine or lower back. We'll begin with alternate nostril breathing, which is pranayama practice, a breathwork practice. You can keep the right hand resting on your knee. The palm can be facing up or down. My palms are a little sweaty right now. I've had a little too much coffee, so I'm going to face my palm upward. Take a few deep inhales and exhales through the nose to clear the passageways. And then bring your left hand to around your nostril area. Keep the fingers really soft. Inhale, and then place the thumb on the left nostril, exhale. Inhale through the right nostril. Cover the right nostril with the ring finger or pointer finger. Exhale. Inhale. You might notice that one might be more clogged than the other, and this is a great way to balance out your breathing, which helps bring oxygen to both sides of the brain. So we will do this for about 10 cycles of breath. Take an inhale. Thumb to left nostril, exhale. Inhale. Point your finger, middle finger to right nostril, exhale. Inhale. Switch, thumb to left nostril, exhale. Switch. Exhale, inhale, switch sides, exhale,
after 10 cycles, breathe in through both nostrils, exhale through both nostrils. Maybe they feel more clear. Maybe your brain feels enlightened. Maybe you just notice the differences between the two. So let's begin the physical portion of our practice. Remove the seat beneath you if you have anything. And let's begin with the feet out wide, seated straddle. Root down into the sit bones, lengthen your feet out. They can be at any angle, whatever is comfortable to you. I like to make sure that I can get my heels on the mat so that the bones and my heels aren't digging into the floor because that's uncomfortable to me. <sighs> Rack back and forth and really feel both sit bones root down into the earth evenly. Inhale, lengthen out through the spine and the crown of the head. Maybe arms come overhead. Gaze upward. Start to deepen your breath. Drop the left hand to, towards the left leg. Inhale, right hand up and over. Maybe right bicep comes to the right ear. Feel the stretch in the leg and the side body. Your left arm can come to the ground. Your palm can touch the ground or can come to the leg. Try to rotate the heart open to the sky. Pull back if you feel any unnecessary tension. You can gaze down towards your knee or up towards the sky. Inhale, back up through center, arms overhead, palms face each other. Exhale, drop the right hand to the right leg. Left hand comes up and over. Gaze can be up towards the sky or to the right knee. Let your right hand fall wherever is comfortable. Push the shoulders down. Maybe open the heart up to the sky a little bit. Inhale, gently make your way back up through center, palms overhead. Inhale, exhale, palms to heart center. Place the palms on the ground. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, hinge at your hips, walk your hands forward. Seated straddle, forward fold over those wide legs. You can walk your hands forward as short or long as you need. Keep the spine long here. Gaze down at your fingertips, long through the neck. Flex your feet, lift the kneecap slightly to engage your quads. Maybe spread the toes really wide or wriggle the toes. You can even move the ankles around. Maybe there are some crackles. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Just feel the oxygen flow through the veins. Push the shoulders down, walk the hand, hands forward just a little bit more. 
Maybe let the chest and head hang. Forearms can come to the ground. Release the straight spine, maybe round. You can round through the spine here. Let the head hang. Maybe feel a gentle stretch in the back of the neck. Inhale, walk your hands up. With a flat back, come back up to seated. Bring your legs straight out in front of you. Staff pose, seated staff pose. Pull the flesh away from the sit bones. Root down into your seat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, the crown of the head, push the shoulders down. Exhale, forward fold, round through the spine, let the head hang. Hands can latch onto anything. Keep the feet flexed. Maybe hands come to the feet or wrap your fingers or wrap your peace fingers around the big toes. Keep your toes pointing towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen in the spine, gaze forward, shine in the collarbones. Shine forward with your heart. Exhale, round through the spine, let the head hang free. Inhale, release any bind. Walk your hands up your legs, come to a seated position. Bring the right knee into the chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Use your core muscles to twist you initially, and then let your shoulders and head twist last. Maybe left elbow comes to the right knee. Gaze over the right shoulder. Kickstand that right hand out behind you for stability. Ring out the toxins. Ring out the negative energy. Ring out whatever it is. One more inhale, exhale, release, come back through center. Straighten the right leg, bend the left leg in, bend the left knee, grab onto the knee with your palms, inhale, lengthen through the spine, the crown of the head, push the shoulders down. Exhale, twist to the left, kickstand the left hand out behind you, latch on to the left knee with the right hand, or you can cross that foot over and right elbow can come to left knee. Twist with your core initially as far as you can go, and then your shoulders and head last. over the left shoulder. Like you're a wet towel wringing out all the extra stuff. One last inhale. Exhale, release, come back through center. And 
Bend at the knees, roll over the shins, come to a tabletop position. Let's flow through cat and cow. Wrists directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. Spread the fingers really wide. Exhale, push through the palms, chin to chest, round to the spine. Inhale, gaze forward, belly drops to the ground. Exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, gaze forward, belly to the ground. 10 more cycles of breath here. Gentle with the lower back. Warm up the spine. Make sure the creases of your wrists are parallel with the short edge of the mat. That's something you also want to maintain in down dog. A simple cue to help with adjustment. A simple cue to help with alignment. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, back to a neutral spine. Nice job. We will come into our first downward facing dog. You can walk your hands forward slightly, spread the fingers really wide, and curl the toes under. Use your core muscles to send the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Pedal the feet out, release the neck. Maybe shake the head yes and no. Root down into your pointer finger and thumb. Feet are hip with distance apart, toes are facing forward. Shoot the sit bones to the sky. Maybe come up onto your tippy toes. Send the hips upward. And then draw the heels back down to the earth. It's okay if they don't go down as far. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Keep the hips level, right toes point towards the earth. Exhale, round to the spine, engage your core. Send the right foot forward as far as it can go. Make your right foot's way in between your palms. Inhale, runner's lunge. Shine out and the collarbones gaze forward, shoulders down. Take an inhale here. Exhale, left foot meets right at the top of the mat, standing forward fold. Feet are hip width distance apart. Spread the toes really wide. Root down into the ball of the foot and the heel. Bend your knees generously. Hands come to opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. Hang over here. Rock side to side, forward and backward. Let the torso rest on the thighs. Deep breathing. Release the muscles in the jaw.
You can even close the eyes if that's comfortable to you. Two more cycles of breath here. On an inhale, with a flat back, bring your hands to your shins, shoulders away from the ears, gaze forward, halfway lift. Draw the belly in. Straighten your legs with a micro bend in the knee. You have to walk your hands up to your thighs to lengthen in the spine, that's completely fine. You can work your way down. Take an inhale, exhale, forward fold. Grab onto the ankles, draw yourself closer to the ground. Through three cycles of breath, roll yourself up to standing. Engage the core, engage the legs. Head is the last thing to come up. Roll the shoulders back and down, palms face forward, fingers spread really wide. Mountain pose. Inhale, windmill your arms overhead, maybe palms touch or arms can stay shoulder width apart, palms face each other. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, windmill, arms overhead, palms touch. Exhale, windmill with a flat back. Inhale, gaze upward. Exhale, swan dive with a flat back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Plant the palms, send the right foot back, high runner's lunge. Inhale, gaze forward, shine your heart forward. Left knee at a 90 degree angle, stack the knee over the ankle, send energy out of the right heel, push the shoulders down. On an inhale, windmill your arms open into warrior two. Right heel is grounded. Left knee pointing towards the third toes. Gaze over the left fingertips. Draw the shoulders down. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Drop the right hand to the right leg, or you can place the back hand at your lower back or sacrum. Inhale, left hand up and overhead, reverse your warrior. Gentle stretch in the left side of the body. Shine your heart to the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, left forearm to left knee, extended side angle, right hand up and over, gaze to the right fingertips. You can stay here or left hand can come to the ground or block. Right hand shoots to the front of the room. On an inhale, exhale, inhale, use your core, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that left leg, reach to the front of the room until you find your length, let the left hand drop, triangle pose, 
Right hand up and overhead, gaze to the right fingertips. Send the hips back. Left hand can come to the leg or the ground or a block for support. Draw the left hip back. Twist that torso and chest to the sky just a little bit more. Inhale, warrior two, bend that left knee. Exhale, cartwheel your hands forward, frame the left foot. Send the left foot back, high plank. Take an inhale, exhale, drop the knees. Keep the elbows hugged in, lower yourself all the way to the ground. Inhale, low cobra. Push your shoulders back, draw the shoulder blades towards each other, root into the pelvic bone. Exhale, push through your palms, come through your knees, downward facing dog. Big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Keep the hips level, left toes point towards the earth. Exhale, bend at the knee, round through the spine. Come up into your right dippy toes. Bring the knee towards the chest and then send the left leg through in between the palms. Inhale, gaze forward, runner's lunge. Push the shoulders down. Maybe drop the hips to the earth slightly. Stack the left knee over the ankle. Take an inhale. Exhale, right leg meets left, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We all need money. Exhale, forward fold. With a flat back, reverse one dive up to standing. Hands meet overhead, gaze upward. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, windmill, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, send the left foot back, runner's lunge. Inhale, gaze forward, shoulders down and back. Runner's lunge. Maybe drop the hips a little bit. On an inhale, Open up to warrior two. Gaze over the right fingertips, right knee to third toes, left foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Draw the shoulders down, pinch the shoulder blades. the left hand to the leg or the back of the left hand can come to the lower spine lower back flip the right palm inhale reverse your warrior keep a bend in the right knee inhale Exhale, come through warrior two, right forearm to right knee, inhale, left arm up to the sky, extended side angle. You can stay here or drop the right hand to a block or the ground. Left hand comes up overhead. Roll that left shoulder back just a little bit, 
shine through the heart. With an inhale, use your core, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg, triangle pose. Reach towards the front of the room until you find your length. Right hand drops towards the leg, inhale. Left hand up and overhead, gaze to the left fingertips. Bend that right knee, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel your hands, frame the right foot. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, full chaturanga or modified chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Protect the lower back and spine at all costs, whatever you need to do. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Take a bunch of little tiny steps and walk your feet in between your palms, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. While you're here, walk your hands over to the right and step back about two, three feet with your right foot. Shift your toes to face forward. Feet are parallel to the short edge of the mat. We're still with a flat back, straight spine. Root down into the outer edges of your feet. Hands come to the ground, or maybe even a household item for support, maybe a block. You can come up as high as you need. Breathe here. Try to engage the tilt of the pelvis forward a little bit so you feel an even deeper stretch in the hamstrings. Gaze down, lengthen in the neck. Explore making your legs go a little bit wider. Just see how that feels. Or maybe a little bit closer together. You can heel toe them together. See how that feels. Wherever you are, release the flat back, round through the spine, let your head hang. Once you find your wide-legged forward fold that feels good to you, just hang out here. Bring your hands to the ground, a micro bend in your knees. We don't want your knees to lock here. Toes can be facing forward or slightly pigeon-toed. Building strength in the ankles for stability. Maybe even walk your palms behind you. You can grab onto the ground and claw at it a little bit. Maybe reach even further to pull your head further to the ground. <sighs> Big breath here, open up in the belly. <sighs> Walk your hands underneath your eyeballs. Come back up to a flat back. Heel toe your feet to a little bit wider than hip distance apart and angle the feet outward slightly. And then bend at the knees, yogi squat. Readjust your feet. 
find a comfortable position. If your heels come off the ground, that's fine. You can even place a towel or, you know, any other object underneath your heels to lift the heels so that you can feel the grounding sensation into all corners of the feet. If that isn't available to you right now, you could even fold your yoga mat under. It's not the prettiest thing, but it works. Fold your yoga mat under and place your heels on the yoga mat. Inhale, lengthen up in the spine, the crown of the head, push the shoulders down and away from the ears. Bring your hands to your heart center and push the knees away with the elbows. Keep the spine long. Draw the tailbone towards the earth. Come back to your breath. Let the unnecessary tension in the face go, release the jaw. Raise the eyebrows just slightly. Maybe crack a little smile. Release the palms, bring them to the earth. And you can fall back, bring your seat to the ground. Gently make your way to your back. Bring the knees into the chest, recline, child's pose. Give yourself a bear hug, rock and roll. Massage the lower back. Feels good. Grab onto the outer edges of your feet with your palms. Push into the palms with your feet. Let the legs spread out wider than the torso. Happy baby pose. Push your feet into your palms. Draw the knees in towards the chest even more by flexing your arm muscles slightly. Keep the back flat on the mat. Flex your feet, maybe even rock back and forth. Make your happy baby happy, even though there's some, even though there's a lot happening here in the hips. Take an inhale, exhale, bring the knees together. Keep holding on with the feet and just flex your feet towards the sky, straighten your knees as much as they will go and keep the feet flexed, just in a reclined staff pose, a reclined forward fold. Straighten the knees as far as they will go. Notice any sensations here. Inhale, exhale, release. Recline child's pose. Give yourself a bear hug. Bring the soles of the feet together. Knees splay out wide. Reclined, bound angle. If this is uncomfortable, you can place some support underneath your knees, like a block or a towel or blanket. Bring the right hand to the belly and the left hand to the heart. Three deep breaths. Inhale, fill the lungs all the way to the top. Exhale out of the mouth, side out. Inhale, fill the lungs all the way to the top. Exhale out of the mouth, ring out the lungs completely. Inhale, exhale, let it go. 
Straighten the legs and the arms. Final resting pose, Javasana. Feet splay open naturally. Arms face the sky. Hands face the sky. Normal breath here. Just let any thoughts that come to the brain, let them go. Let them float by. Big inhale. Come back into the body, stretch the arms overhead, get a full body stretch. Mm, that feels good. Roll over to the right side, fetal position. Cheek rests on the right arm. Push up through your palms and come to a seated position just to seal our practice today. Bring your hands to heart center, close your eyes, feel the energy around your heart chakra, feel gratitude for showing up for yourself today. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. If you like what you see, if you like what you hear, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I love doing these videos for you guys. So please let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. You can email me at zenlabindy at gmail.com. Check out my website, www.zenlabindy.com. I have 60, 80 minute downloadable yoga videos for whatever mood you're in. I also have live yoga classes. I would love to meet you virtually. All my classes are online. Invite your family, invite your friends. I love meeting every single one of you. It makes me so happy. See you next time.